Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin and if you're new here, welcome. I have a scrapbook layout for you today featuring Close to My Heart's new Cut Above layout kit called Remember Today. Now, I'm super excited about this. I love these kits. They are actually calendar kits, but they do it so you don't have to get the calendar part if you don't want it. So you can buy the components individually. So you can create a calendar and then put the layouts into your album or just get the scrapbooking workshop and create 13 single page layouts. So the way these go, this is a color guide that gives you an overview of the contents of the kit and tells you, you know, how to put the layouts. It's a visual guide of how to put the layouts together. They do give you some measurements, for example, um, you know, on how far in to put the elements there so you know there is a little bit of direction on here but these are so easy they are fail proof if you're just starting out with scrapbooking or if you like are most people and don't have a lot of time and you want to create some layouts without a lot of fuss this is a great kit I like to take them to crops and things like that so let's dive in and take a closer look at the kit contents these are photo place card holders and if you don't have your photographs right away you can put these on create the layouts and put these where your photos would go or if you want to create them and give them as a gift to someone to put their photos on that would be a really good use also i like to do other things with these so i'll save those and use them for another project so we have both stickers these are for the calendar if you want to put the numbers on the calendar let me show you the base really quick so it's a you know plain calendar base that has the here let's just take a look and open this right now so you can see what it looks like this special is available through december 1st so i think these would be awesome christmas gifts for your crafty friends uh, i know i would love to get one right so let's just see what this calendar looks like and again you don't have to you know get the calendar portion if you're not interested in that so they have each it would help if i started in the beginning here and one more wait wait for it okay so there's january so you would put your scrapbook layout here and then have your calendar portion here this also comes with a stamp set let me grab it here so the stamp set is perfect for, you know, accessorizing your calendar. You have these little like boxes where you can create like to-do lists, different little banners. How cute are these little doodly elements here to decorate your calendar pages? Or if you're a planner girl like me, I love using stamps like this in my all my planner spreads. It's perfect. So we have, you know, anniversary, workout exercise, today, you know, important, all these to do, pay, vacation, grocery shopping, appointment, holiday, you know, just different things that would, uh, you know, work for scheduling or planning your calendar. So again, you can get the stamp set separately if you're not a scrapbooker and you just want this for your planner, you can definitely do that. Um, I got the entire bundle, so it includes the calendar base, the stamp set, and the scrapbooking kit. Okay, so we'll set that aside. So some of them are stickers. These are actual sticker sheets and you'll notice they're labeled page one, page three, page 11. So depending on which layout it will correspond with, it'll be labeled. Uh, another, this is a 12 by 12 sticker sheet here and just different elements for the different layouts. And then you get these punch out sheets. So these pop right out of here super easily. I'm not ready to do this layout yet, so I don't, I'm gonna keep that in there just so it stays nice and organized. But you get all these sheets of different punch out shapes and titles and just decorative elements. So many cool things in here. Let me set those aside. And then these are bits and pieces to layer on the layouts and they are also labeled. It says page six on the back. So again, just depending, you could separate them all out to make it even easier, but it's to me not a big deal just to kind of rifle through and find the pieces I need. 
And then of course we have our layout bases here. So some of them are like pattern paper and some of them are have pre-printed backgrounds. And then you layer the bits and pieces over the top of them. Like this one, you create this little banner element and have the pieces hanging down and the titles already included for you. And then this one, it looks like you've layered up pattern paper and some little faux stitching detail. We've got our titles, some journaling areas, and then you'll just embellish the the center so super quick and easy and like I said if you're just starting out scrapbooking this is such a cool thing so they're single page layouts right because it's for a calendar um, so you'd only be seeing one at a time but if you are a double page scrapbooker you could buy two and then you would have a double set of each of these layouts and put them side by side and obviously you wouldn't want the title on both pages so on the second page you just use some uh, pattern or cardstock to cover that up or you could put a photo there on the second page lots of versatility so there's butterflies this one is super cute this is the layout we're going to create today and of course i'm going to put my own spin on it you'll see me do some different things and change it up from the original layout so i'm going to set that aside and then some other pre-printed base pages here's one with a big tag and then you get to just fill in with with embellishments and different elements in your photos and then here is this layout super cute and we have one with a fun little border bright patterns and colors on the side there and there's this one this one here and then moments together so very cool stuff I am going to set this aside so we're going to create this layout and I flip this open. That is page six. You can see what they've done with it there. Again, I'm going to switch it up a little bit, but I'm going to go through and pop out all of the accessories that go with page six and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have this black piece and it's labeled page six. We're going to use these stickers, our title. It says explore with a little arrow. I'm gonna leave that on the sticker sheet for now because I don't wanna pull that off until I'm ready to use it. But then we have all of these fun pieces and I just wanted to show you how easy these are. You just give them a little tug and out they come. And if you do get a little you know, nib where it's attached, you can just kind of snip that off. But I mean, that's pretty clean right there. And then there's the little end piece to our chevron shape. So I will pop all of these out. And through the magic of film, I have all of my pieces. So I'm just going to layer these on here how they show on the example sheet. I love these fun shapes and our colors. And you know what's fun about these is you're learning too because this is something you can repeat very simply, right? I mean, you could just take basic cardstock and pattern papers and repeat a layout like this and use this as a jumping off point. So they have all of the little ends here continuing. And when we have some of them printed on the background and then some of them a layered piece, it gives texture and dimension. So that is always a good thing. I always appreciate that on a layout. I just think it's really interesting and fun to look at. It's just like another little detail. It creates a little shadowing, especially when you start bringing in foam tape and different elements like that. Okay, do we have them all? One more. The yellow plaid there. Okay, so then they have the black strip for their photos here. Let me go grab my photos. So this is cut for two portrait style uh, three by four photos. So I have two photos here of my youngest or no, my oldest son, who is very young at the time. And this was back in our homeschool days. And he's doing a little science project where we grew crystals. So he is searching in the little sandbox there for the crystals that are forming. And then he's going to 
you know, document his findings, his scientific findings. And I'm like, this is perfect because the title of this layout is Explore, which they have it used for actual outdoor adventures. And I think that's a great idea, but he's exploring and learning. So there's all sorts of different interpretations of what we can use the title Explore for. I think I'm gonna put this one on the bottom and this one on the top. And you'll notice I printed those with a white margin. So the photo is actually 2.8 by 3.8. So I had room for the white margin and still room to allow the black layer to peek around the outside edge there. Okay, so I got everything. I got all my layers adhered down off camera. And basically all you would have left to do is put the title Explore right here, fill out your journaling. And then they have these little triangles. You can see they've put um, popped up on foam tape and made kind of a visual triangle around the photos with, which is cool. I love it. It looks great as is, but let's step it up and just kind of make it unique. So I got all of my strips adhered down off camera and now I'm going to add some more pattern paper. So this is from the Smarty Pants collection in the current core catalog and there's like the composition notebook paper on one side and on the other side is this science themed paper. There's imagine, create, discover, explore, etc. and like just little, there's little beakers and scientific images. So I thought this was absolutely perfect. And this is the Capri color which so is this they match perfectly and you guys are probably sick of hearing me say this but the color coordination and close to my heart is awesome because look I just grabbed paper from another paper pack another collection and it works beautifully with this I'm going to show you guys the Smarty Pants collection really quick, just in case you're not familiar with it. So again, this is the core catalog, which goes now through August of 2022. And this on page 14 gives you an overview of the Smarty Pants collection. And you can see it's a school themed layout, but I've seen a lot of you know artwork where they're using it not as a school layout. So it's very versatile. But here it's a large paper pack. So you get several different double-sided pattern papers. There is a coordinating sticker sheet, cardstock, and picture my life cards. There is also a stamp set. Let me find it really quick. Here it is. It's called Smarty Pants Stamp and Thin Cuts and it goes along perfectly with this collection and I'm also gonna incorporate this onto today's layout and you can get this with or without coordinating thin cuts. I'm gonna go around the edge of this pattern paper with my Capri ink and just give that a little bit of shadowing or shading around the edge there. So just like that to finish off the edge of the pattern paper and I'll do the rest off camera here. So I have my title which is off of the sticker sheet and I'm gonna go ahead and place that right in the area where they have it. I thought that was a good spot and it looked nice. So I'm just barely going to push down, make sure I've got that straight, and then we're good to commit and smooth that down. Here's that stamp set I was just showing you, and I've already pulled this image off and mounted it on my acrylic block, and I'm going to stamp that on a piece of white daisy here. I'm going to throw some foam under it. A lot of you ask me why I put this foam under it and it just there's often imperfections in the surface, the countertop, whatever you'll, you are working on and that'll transfer through to your stamp. So if you just put this foam underneath you'll get a, a more a clearer stamped image, a better impression. I have archival black. Again we're bringing in black accents to go play off of that title and the black uh, photo mat there. We're getting this nice and inky. Just give it a second to soak into the paper and nice. We have this custom embellishment that we just created. It says a new day, a new adventure. Let me clear that up really quick. All right, I went ahead and die cut that off camera and I thought it would look perfect right here um, in between the two photos. Another thing I want to incorporate are some bl uh, black acrylic accents. I've got some buttons here and they come in different sizes and then also brackets. 
and the acrylic pieces are really nice they have definitely made them thinner can you see how thin that is so you get the texture and the interest without all the bulk on your layout these little acrylic pieces can be found in the back of the catalog on page 77 and they're shown in black but they are available in white acrylic and wood also and the white acrylic one of my customers just or my viewers just pointed this out that you can custom color the white so you can make it match your project so they're really kind of like this blank blank canvas that you can um, switch it up and do different things with and color with different mediums so that is really fun but I thought these brackets would look really cute there's a different styles in here I was thinking that one it fits really well let's try this one that one would work also but I think for the style of the layout I like this one so we're going to put some brackets up on the journaling block there and then let's see some buttons maybe kind of over in this area perhaps I like to do different sizes let's see maybe we'll overlap it up there I don't want to cover the text on the stamp I think that's going to look good there and we might add some more here in a minute i have another stamp set this one is retired it's no longer available but it was from the urban collection there's this awesome word right here i'm going to stamp that in candy apple red to match the red paper up here i just have a little scrap of white daisy paper we'll put my little foam pad down and get that good and inky you can always tell just by looking at it if you're missing some areas and nice it's supposed to have the distressed line in there that is built into the stamp I went ahead and got that fussy cut out off camera and I thought it would look cool layered up I'm gonna pop it up on some foam tape and just kind of hanging off this here to add some color to our black embellishments so I have some 3D foam dots and then there's those little triangles. I already kind of laid them out here on the layout, but you can see they're really subtle. So to make these stand out, you would definitely want to put a little foam dot on the back of that so that it creates some shadowing and then helps it stand out because it's a pattern on pattern. Let me see, orient that right and I'm gonna line it up just like so so like I said that creates that shadowing and makes a big difference in helping these stand out and they're a subtle detail but it's just another detail to take in I'll go ahead and get the rest of these done off camera so you don't have to watch me pop dotting all the bits and pieces but there's the triangles here there's a red one here so you can hardly even see that right there without the pop dot it's blending right in and then one over here as well so we have a few more bits and pieces. There are these little arrows that came along with this kit and I thought these would look cute down here. And I'm just going to kind of frame in the corner with those arrow elements. There's also a black one and in their layout they had it over here kind of overlapping the photo, but it, it just doesn't quite fit and it doesn't show up you know, in that section of the photo. So I thought I would switch it to this side and then just layer another little button over the top. I again put some red waxy flax through there and then I was digging through my stash and I have a tag from the new buildable tags thin cut set and I thought this might look cute layered under here so let's see how that looks and yeah I like that that definitely adds some interest we will go with that this is the buildable tag set you can see there are different tag bases and elements that you can layer over the top you can even create a pocket and then there's a couple of the uh, dies that make the whole reinforcers there's an oval and a circle depending on which tag you use so i cut this little tiny red whole reinforcer and we'll uh, layer that right over our tag for some added character 
So I got everything in here down and I added a little bit of black rickrack ribbon to the top of our tag to go with the color scheme there. And I was thinking, does it need anything else? You know, you can always add something else, right? But sometimes it's just good as is and I think I'm happy with it. So let's bring in that original layout here. This was the base layout, which I think is great. I love it as is. And, you know, we just made a few alterations here we've added the pattern paper the tag just to add some layers and some stamped images and acrylic embellishments there just to get some texture and more dimension and that was super easy to create i think i spent more time talking about the kit and showing you the kit than i actually did putting this layout together so again super fast and a great way to create beautiful layouts with a little time and like i said everything's there for you just gotta pop the pieces out and put them together I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and got some ideas on how to switch it up. And like I said, even if you don't are interested in the kit, you can totally recreate this layout with the supplies you have on hand. Here are a few more videos to inspire you. And if you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you join the Crafty Concepts with Erin community. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time. Bye.